Hello, I heard you're one of the best Jaegers out there. I'd like to see what you're capable of. <coughs> wow, uh, great job. I'll give you a call like never. Bye bye. Hello friend, I'm looking for a Jaeger to join my team of super robots. I'm calling it X-Bots. Oh, I'm so clever. What are you doing? <gasps> You're a bad Jaeger, aren't you? I could tell from all the mad black on you. Can't you splash some red on you or something? Oh well, can't be having a bad robot on my team. Off to find the next best Jaeger. Hello and welcome back to another quick short review on the Ken O oh We channel and this week's theme we will put Pacific Rim robots under the microscope and today's episode will feature two popular robots in the movie, Gypsy Avenger and Obsidian Fury. As always, thank you to Banta Toys for sending these over and unfortunately, they all didn't come with boxes. So let's take a closer look at the figures themselves. For the price you're paying for these figures, they actually contain a lot of detail. All the carving and engraving done on Gypsy Avenger, the reactor on the chest having some detail on it as well, the colors seem to be sufficient enough to make certain details pop, such as the clean red lines on the bold blue body, the numbers painted on it, the metallic visor, the joints have some sculpted details as well which is awesome. Speaking about color schemes on the other spectrum, you have all black Obsidian Fury. Though I wish he had a little bit more highlights on the yellow like in the movies. Overall, I still think the sculpting on this figure doesn't make him look flat. Once again, for the price you're paying for it, the details on these figures are pretty good. For articulation, using Gypsy as an example, head on a ball joint so it can move around, shoulder guard on a ball joint so it can move around and out of the way, see the double jointed peg on his arm. You can twist his armpit connection and depending on where that gap is, it determines how much his arm is able to move. So if you want his arm to move forward more, you have to position it accordingly. And if you want him to shrug, then the same concept, which I think is a great compromise for a figure like this. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, ball jointed wrist, ball jointed ab, but sadly because of his design he can't crunch forward which is a shame, but he can arch backwards a little. Ball jointed crotch and you can push it towards one side which reveals some of his uh, parts. Don't demonetize this YouTube. But yeah, what it does is allow more room for one side to move around. So for example, if you need him to do a kneeling down pose, that extra room allows that which I think is amazing. The same double ball jointed on his hip so he can split, kick up super far, kick back no problem, ball jointed thighs so rotate and move however you want, double jointed knees and ball jointed feet so move around and the usual. As for Obsidian Fury, it's the same design but his shoulder joints are connected to the body. And although it does move out of the way enough for you to stretch his arm upwards, it is however a chore to maneuver it around but if you have the patience then it isn't a problem. But thanks to his design, he can do the ab crunch which is great. But you gotta push his abdomen forward to allow that to happen and the rest is the same. Starting with Gypsy Avenger, he comes with a pair of punching hands and hands to hold off other robots and for weapons he does come with his blade that is attached to another forearm which you can detach the current one and replace it with this and another with a plasma cannon but unfortunately for this figure, it broke off. So at least you all know that this is a little more fragile now so buyers beware. For Obsidian Fury, it seems that it only came with face punching hands and I seem to be missing the high five hands which from the promo pictures is supposed to be there so that's a little disappointing but at least I still got the two blades which you can equip by detaching this piece from his forearm. Pack the blade in and then the forearm guard back and you have him ready for battle and I think this looks really cool. And here are the robots standing next to other figures for scale comparison. So in summary, 
Both figures have their own flaw in their articulation. Gypsy Avenger doesn't have the app crunch, and Obsidian Fury has that annoying shoulder guard blocking the way. But they're both really solid figures, and despite having those limitations, they still manage to pull off a lot of poses, especially from the bottom half of the body, which some other action figures with a much higher price tag can't even do. So kudos to these robots for managing that. And it's just a very fun action figure to play around with, so I'm very pleased to have both of them. Hope you guys enjoyed today's review. If you did, please help leave a like and do subscribe if you're new. If you'd like to support me further, consider visiting my Patreon page. And with that all said, thank you all very much for watching. Do share with me your thoughts on these action figures, and I'll see you all in the next video. Click here for video 1. Click here for video 2. Click here to subscribe. Click it. Thank you for watching. Arigato. Thank you.